House Speaker Beth Harwell's latest campaign finance disclosures show payments to a controversial Ohio-based advertising company, which was also used by a third-party political action committee. Listed among the $117,000 in expenditures Harwell, R. Nashville, made during the first three months of the year as a $30,000 payment March 14 to Ohio-based company Strategic Media Placement for Communications, close gubernatorial candidate Beth Harwell addresses the Williamson County Republican Party's annual Reagan Day dinner on Feb. 23, 2018. George Walker IV, the Tennessean that same day, Tennesseans for Good State Government, which until December was known as Harwell Pack, made a $20,000 payment to Strategic Media Group Inc. For video production, the pack's latest disclosures show it paid the company a total of $637,000. Tennessee 2018, complete election coverage as Strategic Media Groups conceptualizes and creates political ads, and its subsidiary Strategic Media Placement gets the ads on television stations. Both companies share the same Delaware, Ohio, address. Last month, when campaign finance officials received a complaint filed about TV ads funded by the PAC, legal advisor Austin McCullen said because the 32nd spot did not advocate for a candidate, it is not subject to the restrictions associated with coordination. He had touted Harwell as speaker, not her bid for governor. More, ad touting Beth Harwell's accomplishments hits airwaves, but purchase not from her campaign. The PAC has since made another ad buy. In her complaint, conservative activist Sharon Ford argued that since Harwell appeared in the ad, it should be considered a coordinated expenditure. More, Beth Harwell faces another complaint, this time over PAC's ad buy at issue is whether Harwell's campaign was technically involved in the creation of the ad. PACs do not face campaign finance limits on how much money they can spend if it is in the form of an independent expenditure. If the ad was done in coordination with Harwell's campaign, the PAC would be limited to $11,800 in contributions in both the primary and general election. On Friday, McCullen denied there was any coordination between the PAC and Harwell, while noting the law does not restrict such practices. All activities of Tennesseans for good state government are legal, he said in an email. State and federal law recognize the First Amendment freedom of speech without limitation, as long as the speech does not expressly advocate the election or defeat of a clearly identified candidate. McCullen noted that because the ads in question do not expressly advocate the election, of a candidate contribution limits are not applicable, the law does not restrict coordination, he said, nothing the PAC's additional payments to the media company, McCollum said, the vendor payments are hardly proof of coordination, if coordination were even the issue, more, complaints against Diane Black dismissed, action delayed on filings against Beth Harwell campaign finance officials are expected to take Ford's complaint at its next meeting in May, reach Joe Liebert at jebert at tennessean.com or 615-772-1681 and on Twitter at Joe Liebert 29.Reader share this story, https colon slash slash www.tennessean.com slash story slash news slash politics slash tn dash elections slash 2018 slash 04 slash 26 slash beth dash harwell dash tn dash politics dash tennesseans dash good dash state dash government dash strategic dash media dash placement slash 5360330002 slash